good morning students good morning to all and last day we have studied about the middleman and the types of middleman and some of the functions and the characteristics of the middleman so today just we will go to the next concept today just we will study about the wholesaler wholesaler mean the wholesale trader the wholesale trader or the wholesale trade means the buying and selling goods in relatively large quantities or in bulk so normally we have seen in our area itself so many of the wholesaler will be there so the wholesaler always have the dealing with the producers as directly and they will always purchase all these commodities as the bulky or the huge or the large quantities so the traders who are engaged in wholesale trade are called wholesalers or if any of the sellers are dealing with directly to the manufacturer or the producers and the large quantities this type of the sellers are considered as wholesale traders a wholesaler buys good in bulk directly from manufacturer and sell them in small lots of customers or industrial users but nowadays so many of the wholesalers will have the direct dealing with the retailers some of the wholesalers only will have the dealing with both of the retailers and the consumers as directly but if some of the goods always will have some of the retailers only and in this time the wholesalers will have the dealings with the retailers only so these wholesalers also not having any idea about the consumers because they have the dealing only with the retailers and the producers only so what are the needed informations is there it will collecting from the retailers and he will inform to the producers about the changes and the habits and the mentality of the consumers so here we can consider the wholesaler as a link between the consumers and the producers so without the information of the retailers it is not possible but even though the wholesalers only can have the possibilities to providing the informations about the taste and the preference of the consumers a wholesaler is the first intermediary and serves as a link between producers and the retailers because retailer only will knows many things about the consumers and according to the taste and preference of the consumers only the retailer will have some of the needed commodities so on the basis of the needed commodities of the retailer only the wholesaler can have the purchase from the producers and the producers also will increasing the needed commodities and they reduce to the unneeded commodities so the wholesaler place large orders with the producers and the supply in small quantities to the retailers so in this way wholesaler serve both manufacturer and retailers in many ways the wholesalers are providing many functions to the both producers and the retailer also so if you are taking some uh, some of the characteristics of the wholesaler means the wholesaler buys the goods directly from the producers or the manufacturers because the wholesaler also sometimes will produce the necessity commodities but mostly he will purchasing the commodities from the manufacturer only the wholesaler buy goods in large quantities and sell in relatively smaller quantities to the retailer the wholesalers sell different varieties of the particular variety of product so if you are taking the retailer the retailer only will have the single line of the product but the wholesalers always have to or will be in need of purchasing the different type of the company's product so they employ a number of agents and workers for distribution of produce 
because the wholesalers will directly purchasing from the manufacturers after that he has to distribute the commodities to the retailers so in this case without the agents and the brokers are some of the uh, middlemen it is not possible so, so the wholesalers have the power to providing the employment opportunity to the agent and some of the workers also so the wholesalers will be the need of large amount of capital to be invested in his business because they have to need in purchasing the many different type of the commodities and for this case he has to be in need of many or large amount of the capital so they generally provide credit facilities to the retailer because nowadays the consumers also purchasing some of the commodities from the retailers on the basis of credit system so the wholesaler also have to provide the credit facilities for the retailers then only so the business organization or the purchasing or the commercial activity will be moving as efficiently or smoothly so they also provide financial assistance to the producers and the manufacturers because some type of the manufacturers also will be in need of some financial help so in this case the wholesaler only will providing the advance payment to the producers for their commodities so by having the advance payment from the wholesaler the producers or the manufacturer also can easily increasing or continues their industries in a city or town they are normally located in one particular area of the market so in this retailer only retailer only will have many or different type of the shops but the wholesaler always will have only one or one or two more branches for distributing the commodities to the retailer next is the functions of wholesaler so some of the functions or many functions are undertaken by the wholesalers so what are the functions are undertaken by the wholesaler means first on the basis of some of the headings so we can understand so the collection of goods the wholesaler collects the goods from the manufacturers or the producers in bulk so many types of the goods or many collections of the goods are produced by the different type of the producers but the wholesalers always purchasing some of the commodities from the different type of the producers as a bulky base next is storage of goods the wholesaler collects and stores them safely in warehouses till they are sold out because the producers and the retailers also will have no need of protecting the commodities but instead of both of them the producer sorry the wholesaler only have to take these responsibilities because after sold the commodities from the producers to the wholesaler the producers will leave from the responsibility so after that the wholesalers only have to take this responsibility of protecting the commodities so till it is sold to the retailers so the perishable goods like fruits vegetables etc are stored in cold storage facilities so for the purpose of protecting the goods the wholesaler have to maintaining the different type of the warehouses or within a single warehouses they have to arranging many facilities next distributions the wholesaler sells goods to the different retailers thus he performs the functions of distribution because always he has to purchase the commodities the different type of the commodities from the different type of the manufacturers and it will be going to distribute to the different type of the retailers some of the retailers only will purchasing purchasing the particular company's product on the basis of the consumers wishing next is financing so wholesaler provides financial support to producers and manufacturers by providing money in advance to them sometimes the wholesalers will providing the advance payment to the manufacturer and uh, they will providing the, all the commodities to the retailers on the basis of credit systems so in this case so by using the wholesaler both of the producers and the retailers also 
can have the possibilities to increase or continue their industries or the business so he also sells goods to the retailer on credit next risk taking the wholesaler buys finished goods from the producers and keeps them in the warehouses till the time they are sold so and assumes that risk arising from price spoilage of goods and the change in demand so here the wholesaler also have to taking one of the most responsibilities that is the risk taking because when the products are going to protect in the warehousing so as we have studied already many types of the risk will be arised in these warehouses so goods may be spoiled by the rain or the or the heavy sun and sometime because of the uh, mouse and because of whatever may be so some of the cases similar many of the are problems will be arised in these warehouses but all the risk also has to take only by the wholesaler because after uh, submitted the commodities to the wholesaler so the producers will be relieved the responsibilities and till it is going to reach on the hands of the retailers the wholesalers only have to take the responsibility next uh, creating packing and packaging so when the product are protecting in the warehousing in the time of protecting the goods in this warehousing the wholesaler only have to arrange all this type of the warehousing functions warehousing functions means already we have studied you know so after after dumping the commodities in this go dump so many of the things have to undertaking by the warehousing keepers so okay so the product has to be graded and some of the product have to packing in the small pages small bags from the big bags and the packaging and the making the price and the different type of the working the warehousing functions are there so all these functions are undertaken only by the wholesalers okay so from this area the producers will be get more free from this all works so instead of the manufacturer or the producers the wholesalers only are taking all type of the responsibility next to providing information so providing information is one of the important factor to conduct or increasing the efficient of the business because the producers will be producing the commodities one of the corner in our world and the same commodity is going to consumed by the consumers which are living in the another one of the corner of the world but how the information is going to move from the producers to consumers or how the producers are going to know about the taste and preference of the consumers consumers means by the way of retailer and the wholesaler but whatever change has to taken into the commodities it is taken by the manufacturer but the manufacturer will never knows about the consumers and the retailer so here the wholesalers only have to taking this responsibility also so first the retailer also will be correcting all the taste and the preference of the consumers and it will be given to the wholesaler the wholesalers only will be providing the informations about the taste and the preference of the consumers to the producers so according to the taste and according to the providing informations so the producers will come to the change in some of the commodities and not only that some of the peoples also will have the, will not, will have will not have the information about the product okay so in this case the wholesaler only will providing some of the information about the product and the producers to the consumers okay so here the both of the people the producers and the consumers also will have the will can have the possibilities to get the informations about the product and producers next the transportation a wholesaler arranges for the transport of goods from producers to these warehouses and from the warehouses to retail 
So many wholesalers maintain their own trucks, carry goods in bulk and are placed utility to the goods. So nowadays the transport facility is also one of the important factor to increasing or conducting their business activities. But in these cases many of the retailers also not having the transport facilities. So simply he will given the order list order of the commodities. So on the basis of the order list, the wholesaler only have to arrange the transport facilities for their retailers. So because of that, so all the wholesalers will have some of the own transport. And sometimes the wholesaler also use this own transport for the purchasing goods from the manufacturer. So in this case, the manufacturer also not being in need of arranging the transport facilities for providing the goods to the wholesalers and in the same time the retailers also will not having the will not having the responsibilities for arranging the transport for receiving the commodities from the wholesaler so the wholesaler will arranging the transport facilities for the producers and the retailers also so the function, the sub one or eight functions are provided by the wholesalers. Next is services of wholesaler. Not only along with the functions, some of the services also undertaken by the wholesaler. The wholesaler providing many services to the societies. In societies means for the producers and the retailers and the consumers, even in the government. The services are undertaken by the wholesaler. First, the producers, services to the producers. What are the services is going to provide by the wholesaler to the producers means? First one is economies in large scale. A wholesaler buys good in bulk and thereby enables the producers to produce goods on a large scale. The large scale production helps to reduce that cost of production per unit. So whenever the producers want to purchasing the commodities as a large quantities, the wholesalers will have the possibilities to undertaking the large scale product. So when they are undertaking the large scale, large scale units or large scale productions, he will get all the economies of scale in these large scale products. And not only that, the producers will not get the worries about the consumers and the retailer. Because what are the product is produced by the producers, the wholesaler will be received from there. So in this case, uh, all the producers will, in, will have the possibilities to increasing their quantity of the, or the extent of the industries. Next, assistance in distributions. The wholesalers collect orders from a large number of retailers scattered over a wide area and buy goods in bulk from producers. He enables the producers to reach customers scattered over the different parts of the country by distributing goods through retailers located in different areas. Therefore, the producers can concentrate only on productions. So first we have to know one thing, so the producers only have to take the responsibilities to gathering the market and the number of consumers but in normally so there is no possibilities because of that the wholesaler will take these responsibilities and the wholesalers will take all these responsibilities to connecting the retailers and the consumers along with the producers so after producing any of the commodities he will providing the commodities to the wholesalers and he will leave from all the responsibilities. The wholesalers only have to arrange some of the distributing to the retailers and along with the customers. So after that the customers will be providing the marketplace for their producers. Next warehousing facility. A wholesaler holds large stock of goods in his private warehouse or in a rendered warehouse. In this way, he relieves the manufacturer from the functions of air hosting. As we have studied already in the functions of 
wholesalers. All the wholesalers will have one of the separate warehousing and not only that all the warehousing functions also undertaken by the wholesaler. Wholesaler means the workers of the wholesalers. So here the retailer and the producers also will leave the responsibility from the warehousing functions and the responsibility of protecting the product from any of the places. Next forecasting of demand. A wholesaler collects information from the retailers about the nature and extent of demand and passes it into the producers and enables them to produce goods according to the needs, taste and fashions prevailing in the market. So normally we have studied in our economics, so on the basis of the demand only the producers have to produce or have to increasing the production level. How they we, how the producers knows about the demand of the particular commodity means from the retailer and the wholesaler will providing that information about the taste and the preference of the extent of the need of the commodities. Suppose if there is more demand is there in any of the commodities, so this information is passed by the retailer to the wholesaler and the wholesaler to the producers. So on the basis of the information, so the producers also will be increasing their production level. Next, publicity of goods. So often wholesaler launch advertising campaign to boost the demand for the goods. Normally, how the producers will make the demand of the commodities means by making the good arrangement of the advertisement. Nowadays, many of the goods are going to sold in the market only by the advertisement. So without advertisement, we can we never can we can never sell any of the commodities in this market. Even these products are being as quality goods. Nowadays, many types of the advertisements are there, TV advertisement, paper advertisement, radio advertisement, and LED, and many types of the advertisements are there. So by launching the different type of the advertisement, the consumers get the informations, all the informations about the commodities. And from this way, so the retailer will be relieving by the way of canvassing about the product because the wholesaler will be providing all the advertisement materials to the retailers. So the producers get the benefit of such publicity and thus enable to spend them less on advertising. Next financial assistance. A wholesaler often makes advance payment to the producers. He buys the goods as soon as they are produced. So the producers need not lock up their capital in maintaining huge stock of goods. As we have studied already, the financial assistance also provided to both the manufacturer and the retailer. So in this case of manufacturer, the wholesaler providing the advance payment. Because of that, the manufacturer without having the lock up of producing any of the commodities, he will be continues their productions and providing the goods in the credit system to the retailer the retailer also can easily continues the business organizations so by providing the financial assistance so both the manufacturer and the retailer also continues their business next is risk bearer so a wholesaler provides ready market to producers by placing advance order and relieves the manufacturer from the risk of loss due to fluctuations of demand and storage of goods. So when the manufacturer will never know about the demand or the changing of the demand. So we will never know whenever the demand will be going to change in the market. But even though so after producing any of the commodities, so the manufacturer will give it to the wholesaler and the wholesaler will take all the responsibility. And even if any of the losses arise in this market, 
all the risk of losses is undertaken by the wholesaler only. Next link. A wholesaler serves as a useful intermediary between the producers and the retailer. So as we have studied already, the wholesaler only is called as a bridge between the both producers and the retailer because the retailer only have the possibilities to collecting all the information about the taste and the preference of the consumers. This information is going to provided by the wholesaler one. So the wholesalers are being are active as a link between the wholesaler and the retailer. Okay students, so the wholesaler also providing the services to the producers and the under the eight headings okay if you have any doubt please ask me thank you and just you take these portions as your study portions also thank you